Get used to it, man. You're a Monta GP rider. <laughs> Come on, cut. That was not nice to cut. What a season, what a legend. Mark Marquez. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered uh, here today for an exceptional press conference. Un placer. Hello and welcome back to Inside Pass. We're back in Europe and we're here in Valencia for the final round of the MotoGP Championship. Valencia truly is the classic because the season has ended here for the last couple of years and it has that end of season party vibe that everybody loves. Now let's head to the track. Let's go. Is this the last vlog of the year? This is maybe not. Are you ready for the last challenge of the year? The last challenge? Okay, what is it? Do you know the concept of a yearbook and yep. the most likely two? Mm -hmm. Basically, we're going to do the awards, the most likely awards mm -hmm. for the MotoGP grade. So who is the most likely to be a stand-up comedian? I like to think I'm one of the funnier ones. Jack. Maybe Jack and me. Maybe Jack Miller. Kraslo or Miller? Maybe Kraslo. <laughs> okay. So I will say Carl. Who's the funniest? Carl. I would say Carl, Kraslo. Kraslo. the most likely to become a fashion icon? Fabio and Oni. Some people say Yanone, some people say Quartararo. No, Fabio, no. <laughs> uh, Quartararo, also because uh, doesn't use anything under the leather, I think, uh, for that. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> How do you know he doesn't wear anything under the leathers, Andrea? Uh, Someone said you. Yeah, I know. Uh, I would, okay, wow. I, would, I would say me because I really love uh, fashion. Watch out for Fabio. Fashion icon. Uh, Andrea Giannone, underwear model or something like that. Yeah. Are you jealous? No! I'm not made for that. Fashion. Yes. <laughs> Andrea Giannone. And who is the most likely to become a pro wrestler? Danilo Petrucci. Danilo. Uh... Danilo. <laughs> <laughs> Petrucci looks, yeah, Tough. difficult to <laughs> go through. Well, the Petrucci. Tall is, yeah. Petrucci. <laughs> Petrucci. <laughs> sure, 100%. <laughs> I would say Petrucci. <laughs> Everyone says Petrucci. Who's most likely to be on Dancing with the Stars? Mark. He's always got the dance moves, <laughs> doesn't he? Mark. Who has the moves in the Mojito Mark. 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 <laughs> Everyone says Mark. Mark. For me, it's impossible. Can to, you do his moves? thinking about no. that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Morbidelli has moves, Marquez has moves. Do you see Marquez dancing? Come on, are you kidding me? So who do you think is the most likely to be in Dancing with the Stars, Paul? Morbidelli, maybe he's half Brazilian. Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> I'm, I think I'm in the list. <laughs> do you have a move? No, I don't. I'm here, not today, no. I have many moves. You have a nice video from Malaysia, GP. True. <laughs> Likely to do the next Red Bull space jump. The craziness, uh, Miller. Miller is quite crazy. Okay. Who do I don't you know imagine? somebody, maybe Jorge Lorenzo, no? Because he already <laughs> wear astronaut. Astronaut. True. True. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Cool. Uh, Jack. That's for sure. <laughs> he jump everything. Uh, you know, I would like that. I would love to that. Yeah. Red Bull, you have your next candidate no, for the next space jump. No, no, yes. no. <laughs> you just said yes. Yes, but when I will retire. I love my life at the moment, so not now. He's chickening out. In the future. We have it on camera. Jack, he said Jack, yes. Jack Miller. And who is most likely to be the party animal at the end of season party? Ah, oh, there's many of us. Ooh, the of the you include yourself? Yeah. Okay. I include myself for sure. Jack. Jack. Uh, Jack. Jack. That's for sure. Jack is wild. <laughs> Miller. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently Jack takes the win. He's the party animal. Yeah. Perfect. We're at the East 
Sports Arena and I'm here to find out a bit more about this series and to do that I have here Wim, one of the riders. Hi, Hi Wim. guys. Hi Vanessa. This is amazing. This is a podium. Yeah, we have the podium for the final. Yeah. What is it that you win? So we win the first place obviously is the BMW. The second prize is over there which is a Yamaha R3. And then uh, we have a laptop from uh, Lenovo. So I need you to sort of walk me through the eSports series because I've heard about it but I don't know what it entails. Yeah. Okay, so uh, first obviously you need to qualify okay. doing some uh, online challenges at home. And at the end you have uh, nine guys from Europe and three guys from the rest of the world qualifying for this event. Then we do uh, three live events, on-site events, Misano, Aragon, and then uh, over here in Valencia. This of course is a final with double points. Okay, double points, so... Yeah, so the championship's up for grabs, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. open. Everything can happen right now. Yeah. Do, you get, do you get nervous for a race? Uh, right now it's still okay. <laughs> we still have a couple of minutes, but yeah. at the race before the start, right before the start, yeah, the, the nerves kick in. Well, you know what? Best of luck for yeah. the final two rounds. Yeah, thank you. Um, what are you doing here? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Your bike? I'm supporting Juan. I'm Juan. the supporter. Yeah, I'm the fan of Juan, and I'm here to support him to More to beat the, all the others. <laughs> I need some support when I'm racing, and I have all my fans. Not a lot. That's they really are all sweet. from Valentino Market, but I'm his fan, so I'm here supporting. Teamwork. Paul Espargaro is a fan of esports. Yeah. Did you give him any advice? Yeah, I said, do not think about it. <laughs> do you play? I play with my friends sometimes. I, I choose my one, and I win. So you it, choose yourself? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's good to win sometimes. <laughs> so I choose myself to win. Fair to win the other was a good idea. What do you have here? What are you doing? So I'm here in the E-Games mm -hmm. and I'm going to give to the pole setter this E-Pole watch. That's a pretty cool watch. Let me take a look. Do you play the MotoGP 19 games? I always love the PlayStation. You do? Uh, till from, from I was five years old. But now I play for half an hour, one hour with my friends. Do you Not choose so yourself to play? Yeah, normally yes. Yes? <laughs> but because in real life I cannot test the other bikes, maybe in the, in the game sometimes I it's test. It's a good way to test the, the other, other bikes, factories. yeah. <laughs> They're already discussing who's going to drive the new car that he just won. Congratulations. Andrew, congratulations for that championship when you must be really, really pleased. I have to ask, is it heavy? Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm yeah. the best type of person in the world. This is a dream to be a world champion and uh, this is the best day of my life. Congratulations and I hope you enjoy that fantastic car. And your very big trophy, I have to say, really heavy. Congratulations and go go ahead and celebrate. Enjoy. Bye. Thanks. So look who I just bumped into. Iker. Hi Iker. How's it Hi. going? And Paul. Hi Am. How's it going? Yeah, good. So I have to say, Iker, you're coming in to the MotoGP class on the last round of the season. Yeah. Did you have the chance to test the bike? No. No? <laughs> that's, that's quite brave, man. <laughs> <laughs> Follow. Rude man. Any a, any advice you could give Iker before he gets on the bike? Just <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's talented. He's very young. I feel old in, in his side. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm getting old. Before you guys get on with the weekend, we play a round of heads up. Yep. You cannot use the teammate name, the team name, the number of the rider in question, or the nationality. You hold it first. Yeah. There you go. Mm, Valentino uh, Rossi. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a legend. Uh, 500, uh, the two stroke. Yeah, two stroke. Yeah. It's uh, like a legend. Yes. World champion, for sure. Duhan. Yeah. Down. Okay, yeah. up again. This is very easy. I uh, have uh, one brother in the same category. Market. Same ah. category. Ah, same category. Yeah, this year. Me? No. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Up again? Uh, he has a uh, World Championship in Moto2. Yes. He stay in Moto2 one year more, but don't win. So he go to Moto2. He Blue won and, and white, the, the bike. Time's up. Uh, Time's up, boys. Who was? Ah, Tito. 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 My goodness. Tito. So two. Okay, two. 
It's a brand. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, <laughs> explain that. It's not a human. <laughs> it's not a human. It's the logo uh, of a brand. It's the logo of a brand. It's very fatty. We have it on the bikes. They need help. It's the mascot of the, of the tire provider. Next, okay. That was difficult. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, he's been in Moto2, world champion. He has a double nationality passport. Yeah, we and, can say that. And uh, the. Uh, uh, <laughs> come on. You're really bad. Yeah, I want to see the teammate, but I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> really it mad. was Morbidelli. Time's up, time's up. So you literally got... Morbidelli. Uh, but how you put... He watches names of the riders. Um, okay, do you want to do another round? You okay, were fine. cheating, you were cheating. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, you have very close in uh, in the pit box. Mm. Oliveira. From the next year. Yes, look yeah. down, look down. down. Okay, you have also very close in the in your team, but it's, it's not official rider at the moment. Uh... It's a guy, it's, yeah. it's making a lot of laps on He's the test. He's a legend, MotoGP legend. Ah, uh, um, yeah. Pedrosa. Exactly, okay. yes. Down. Uh, <laughs> basically, uh, he has a phone in, in, in the top of his car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> okay, it's a, it's a legend, uh, super talented, super fast, while um, living in the place of the kangaroos. Gun? No, and I'm he's no, right. uh, retired already. Oh, this Hands is up. Casey. Ah, it's Stoner. 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 Casey. Oh. <laughs> uh, we did better, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Better. Yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. 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 <laughs> basically, three to exactly. two. Exactly. Yeah. So basically, yeah, he figured out three and you figured out two. Yeah, yeah okay. he won actually. Yep. Oh. He's young, rookie, and mm -hmm. he's beating me already. You see? <laughs> <laughs> but it was, you guys, you guys were getting into the game and you were pretty good. Thank so, you very much, Vanessa. Thanks. Best of luck for your first ever weekend on a GP bike. Nice night. Thank you, Vanessa. And, and be nice, huh? I will. Honestly, <laughs> I will. I will. Maybe I try to follow him, but <laughs> he's <laughs> very well. He's one corner. Trust me, he's not gonna be slow. He's gonna be fast. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's ace. This guy is fast. Perfect. Well, thank you so thank much, you. guys. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, bye. bye Vanessa. As one legend retires, a new star is born. 19-year-old Ika Lekawona. It was announced last week after Miguel Oliveira pulled out of this final Grand Prix of the year that he will move up immediately. So I'm in the press conference room right now because this morning we all journalists received a press release saying that there was going to be an exceptional press conference today regarding Jorge Lorenzo, but there was no more news. Everyone's speculating, but let's find out what's actually happening. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered uh, here today for an exceptional press conference. Five-time world champion Jorge Lorenzo has invited us here. Jorge, I believe you have something uh, important to tell us. Uh, the stage is yours. As you all imagine here, I'm here to announce this will be my last race in MotoGP and uh, at the end of the race I, I will retire as a professional racer. Thank you all for all the help. It was a pleasure to work, to, to work with you and with all my help I wish you, I wish you all, all the best, all the luck professionally and, and also personally. Thanks a lot. A vosotros, ¿eh? un placer Thanks trabajar aquí, en este pueblo. It's now official. Jorge Lorenzo has announced it himself. He is retiring from professional racing. So this will be the final time we will see Jorge on a MotoGP bike. So let's see what happens on his final race. Eyes to the light, top left. Lights out here in Valencia. Great start from Miller. Not a good start from Marquez. Looked like Quattararo didn't get away too badly either. But here comes the Ducati. But it is Quattararo who leads. He said he needed to lead, and he does. He's gone through on Miller. He's coming up the inside. Is he into the final turn? Now he is going to try and hunt down. Fabio Quattararo. He's being squeezed here, they're side by side. Marquez will have the inside line, crucially though, and he marches his way through on Quattararo. Marquez is the master of 2019, and he wins here in Valencia, five-time world champion. Jorge Lorenzo says goodbye to MotoGP. Thank you for all the memories, Jorge Lorenzo. What a rider, what a star, what a legend. And Jorge Lorenzo jumps off a MotoGP bike then for the final time in his illustrious career. Emotional scenes then outside of the Repsol Honda garage. Bye, boys. <laughs> Bye. That's it for the 2019 season. Or is it? Hold on a second. 
Join us next time for a very special Inside Pass Gala edition and let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of this vlog was. Don't forget to subscribe to the Red Bull Motorsport YouTube channel so you don't miss this very special episode of Inside Pass. See you next time.